Let's go live to Ottawa. This is where federal cabinet ministers are speaking ahead of the House of Commons resuming. Function in this country, 50 percent of small businesses have mentioned that they would increase salaries if the cost of regulation were lower. And we are taking this very seriously. We have a bill, Bill S-6. It is in second reading right now. It is a regulatory modernization bill, and it is the second such bill uh, in our government's history that will lead to more competition, new economic opportunities and increased economic growth. So we urge all parties to support Bill S-6 as well in order to reduce red tape. Unlike the Conservatives who have no plan to reduce red tape, our government has legislation and we have a plan to continue to address the difficulties that small businesses are facing because of such red tape. Thank you. Okay, so we'll now move to questions. We have uh, 25 minutes. So we will start with uh, Murad uh, Imadi with, uh, with the logic. Uh, Minister Freeland, uh, your government's industrial, pol sorry, industrial policy in areas like net zero and semiconductors is closely tied to major Biden administration policy in the form of the Inflation Reduction Act the CHIPS Act, and so on. What happens to all the billions that you've put up if a Trump administration comes in and decides to take a different tack or undo the Biden administration's climate and strategic technology policy? Then I think we'll get even more investment in Canada. Um, our tax credits are a made-in-Canada policy, and they are designed to ensure that Canada takes advantage of this generational moment, right? Like, you know very well, you write about this all the time. Um, the transformation that the global economy is going through right now is comparable only to the Industrial Revolution itself. We believe it is absolutely essential that Canada gets its share of the global pie. Actually, we think we should get more than our share of the global pie. And the good news is we have all of the ingredients for a real industrial renaissance in Canada. We have the critical minerals and metals that the new industry of the world needs. We have clean electricity. Canada's grid is already 85% clean, and those tax credits I spoke about are built to allow us to increase our clean power generation because we know we're going to need that. We are a country that knows how to manufacture. You know, there are other countries that let go of their industrial base. Canada has never done that. Having industry in Canada is serving us in very good stead. As Francois Philippe uh, just said, and Sean talking about our great universities, we have the most educated people in the OECD. And when you put all of that together, turbocharged by our tax credits, we really believe that this is a moment of really great economic opportunity for Canada. And our job as a government is to be sure that our country is positioned to seize that opportunity. That's what our system of tax credits is doing. So you say you have a Made in Canada plan. Your EV uh, credits are tied specifically to the IR. Those are not tax credits. Your EV incentives, but still under the Made in Canada plan. Your CCUS credits are were the, adjusted the only, according the, to forty five Q. These things are no. The only I mean, look, Murad, I'm not I'm, I'm not kind of um, trying uh, to be disputatious. For sure, it's the case that we recognize there's competition in the global economy, and we believe that Canada needs to own the podium. And that is why we have put together a plan which is really doing that. And if you talk to international investors, you know, talk to Rio Tinto, talk to BHP, talk to Dow, talk to the car companies, they will all say this is a fantastic moment to be investing in Canada. Our suite of measures 
is designed to ensure that companies do exactly that. It is built on the foundation of the ITCs. It also includes the Canada Growth Fund and the investments it's making, such as the contract for difference that it concluded in December. So we are really going full steam ahead. And if you look at the data, if you look at the deals, I think you already see the investment reaction to those measures we've put in place. And I would be remiss if I didn't say the final piece in that puzzle is our trade deals. Canada is the only G7 country that has a trade deal with every single other G7 country. And we are already benefiting from the focus on resilience in the wake of COVID, in the wake of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, which you are seeing the world's companies and the world's big economies put in place. Canada's reliable. People know it. OK, we've been listening live in Ottawa. This is where federal cabinet ministers have been speaking ahead of the House of Commons. Resuming most recently, we were just listening to Deputy PM Christopher Friedland uh, talk about it, the Made in Canada plan, as well as responding to a what if scenario if President or Donald Trump is reelected president of the U.S. And then also before her, we heard from Minister Anita Anand talk about small businesses.